Our big focus this morning is on the BCCI's indictment, on the Supreme Court's indictment of BCCI Chief N. Srinivasan, who's been asked to step aside. We have with us our consulting editor, Borya Majumdar, in our newsroom. Let's go across to him. Uh, it's been a huge, huge development, and there's no question that this is one of the massive developments. I'm also told that uh, we will soon be joined, if not already joined, by Ajay Shirke, president of the Maharashtra Cricket Association and former treasurer of the BCCI. Ajay, if you can hear me, uh, the Supreme Court today, in one of the severest indictments ever of the BCCI, saying Mr. Srinivasan staying on is nauseating and he has to step down over the next 48 hours. If not, they will force him to step down. Your first reactions to this? <coughs> Good morning, Gloria. Um, first of all, I'm not in the country, so I'm not aware about uh, the details of what, what kind of an order has been passed. But as I, as I tried to get some sketchy information, I believe uh, the Supreme Court has come down um, uh, rather heavily on the whole, uh, uh, you know, the whole event of this whole match, match fixing allegations and so on. So, if that is the case, I think it's a very uh, sad day for Indian cricket in terms of, you know, the BCCI's name being tarnished. And uh, as I, as you know, I am no longer a part of the BCCI. It's not fair for me to comment anything beyond that. But uh, it. I think that it, like a lot of other senior people uh, here had also asked. I mean, this has to be looked into fairly properly, and we need to restore the faith and trust of people in the in the in the board. Mr. Shirke, you had quit in the wake of this massive scandal. It was quite clear the position that you had taken without mm -hmm. saying as much. As you are saying that questions now need to be asked of the other bigwigs in the BCCI as well. Because really they allowed Srinivasan to keep continuing on in his position and did not force him to quit from his position earlier on. I think it's an, it, it's kind of uh, an indictment of the BCCI's functioning as well. No, no, this is a very, uh, as far as I am concerned, my decision was my personal decision. I don't think uh, anybody asked me to or forced me to or, you know, or for that matter can, uh, you know, make me do any. I did it like I had said that time, that I was not comfortable with the idea of what was happening. And in fact, I was very saddened uh, when one of the very senior members of the board in the last meeting that I attended went to the extent of saying that I did this to get uh, media applause. Ajayji, uh, Ajayji, it's not about uh, saying, uh, uh, by, you know, not taking names today. Why don't you tell me? Tell me on air, who is this BCCI member you are referring to who said you did it for media credibility? One, second question, and uh, this is a more important question. You say you are not part of the BCCI, I say you are a part of the BCCI because you are a president of the Maharashtra Cricket Association, which is a BCCI affiliate. Now, I know you are in London. I know and I'm putting it down for my viewers. It's 8 o'clock in London at this point in time. Ajay Shirke may not have heard the full details, but we are telling you on air, Mr. Shirke, that the Supreme Court has said that Mr. Srinivasan staying on is nauseating and Mr. Srinivasan should step down over the next 48 hours. Now tell me, if what I'm telling you is verbatim what the Supreme Court has said, would you now say as president of the Maharashtra Cricket Association and affiliate of the BCCI that Srinivasan should step down? No, no, it is not for, I don't think that the matter now rests within the BCCI. It is, it is the highest court of the land that has passed an order and I think the BCCI has no role, role to play anymore, I think. That's, I mean, uh, how would any member or any, uh, any, uh, you know, constituent of the BCCI overrule uh, the highest court of the land? So then what happens? I mean, Suppose Srinivasan so doesn't enough, step down. I mean, I mean, but but Ms. let me qualify my statement. I have not read the judgment. I have not studied the order. I am only going by the sketchy bits that I have seen on the news channels and so on as available here and what you are telling me. But if the Supreme Court has passed an order, then the members or the constituents of the board have a very limited role to... So that's what I'm asking you. Suppose Mr. Srinivasan continues to be brazen and says, I won't step down. What is the formality? What does the board no, do from I, here on? No, no, the matter is in the, before the court. I mean, how can we speculate on such matters? No, no, it's and not the before the court. No, no, let me clarify. Sorry, it court. is not before the court. Mr. Shirke, it's not before the court. The court has said 
that it is giving the BCCI, please understand, it is giving the BCCI 48 hours for Mr. Srinivasan to step down on his own volition. It is giving him an honorable exit. If he doesn't take the honorable exit, the court is convening day after tomorrow once again to pass an order on this judgment. So what do you think? as a constituent affiliate of the BCCI, should the BCCI do over the next 48 hours? You cannot say that it is not within the purview of the BCCI. No, no. See, as far as the order is concerned, unless you read that order and what it is, it, uh, what, I can, what I can gather from what you are saying is that the board uh, has been, I mean, Mr. Srinivasan has already been told to st uh, step, step aside or step down? Step down. Okay. So, uh, here, the, the role of the BCCI is limited, isn't it? It's an order of the court. So, you're basically saying, Mr. Shirke, that there are no two ways about it anymore. Supreme Court has said that Srinivasan should step down. He should do it on his own right now. If he doesn't do it on his own, we will pass an order. So, you're basically saying there are no options before end Srinivasan. No, I don't know. I have not read the judgment. But if I, if I go by what you are telling me, uh, I think the question to me was that what should the BCCI do? I think it's way beyond the, the control of the BCCI. All right. There is a Supreme Court. Yeah. All right. But Mr. Shirke, uh, you know, what the B Supreme Court said and why it has asked uh, N. Srinivasan to step aside no. is that no fair investigation can happen without, with this man still at the helm. That is a huge embarrassment for the BCCI because the BCCI allowed him to go on and on. The, the part of the BCCI that, you know, I was not part of that. No, no, you can so comment it's on the other question to ask me. I was not a part of that BCCI which, which, which you know, what, what you are referring him allowed him to continue or whatever. So I was in fact, and all the senior leaders were at that time, uh, you know, requesting a, a, a fair probe to be conducted in, in you know, so that uh, Mr. Srinivasan could have had the opportunity to come clean. But you can comment on the others, sir. There are big wigs in the board which are still there. Uh, how can who I, I, I never comment about anybody else. So, can, I, you, can I ask you this question in a different way? Are you not sad that this day had to come? I when did the Supreme say that Court it is a very sad day. I did, I did open my conversation with you saying that it is a sad day for BCCI. 